cancel. So let's jump into it and have a look and see what the cards can reveal about the two of you. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, and the Sun card. This is very beautiful, Cancer. Let's look at that Wheel of Fortune here. This talks about destiny. This talks about fate. This talks about a potentially wonderful relationship that can result in the happily ever after. Um, this is someone who's going to want that with you. They're going to see you as someone for the long term. Wheel of Fortune is all about a destined cycle that you need to go on. It can involve karmic lessons. There might be lessons that you need to take from this relationship. And it might be lessons around relationships, family, and being more open-minded or more receptive to things. I love that the Cancer, the Moon, and the Sun has come up because this is Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And to bring that together makes something complete, makes something whole. So... This is a very special relationship, Cancer. This is going to be one you will not forget, I don't think, ever. Even if you move on from them, even if you do not stay with them for the rest of your life, there is um, a part of them that's always going to stay with you somehow because that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. It's the Wheel of Life, the Wheel of Fate turning. But it's, it's all about motion as well. So... I think the way things will progress between the two of you will be at a very steady and a very good pace for, that will work for the both of you. I don't see that things will rush along very quickly. I also don't see the other side of the spectrum where things will stay quite stagnant. I feel like you're going to be on in constant movement with each other, which is really powerful. The four cherubims indicate solidarity, the number four, the four elements, the four corners, this is symbolic of binding stability and concreteness with this person. Because you both will be wanting these things when the two of you connect together into a relationship. There's something about divine timing happening here as well. Again, this person is coming at it and coming in at very, very good time of your life, but you'll also be entering their experience at a very good time as well. Something about timing. Timing is everything in this relationship when when you start to form but the wheel of fortune talks about increased abundance increased prosperity and just good nice things coming to the both of you so i think with time you'll notice that things get easier things get better things become smoother between the two of you let's move on and have a look at that beautiful ten of cups as well uh ten of cups energy here what can we say about the ten of cups this is the happily ever after card it is a card of family. It is a card of solidarity and creating a life or a family home together. So I really feel like if this is, um, if you're at a stage in your life where you're wanting children, if you're at a stage in your life where you feel you want a, a mother or a father figure for your own children or grandchildren, you know, whatever it is that's happening around you, there is a certain possibility that the two of you can build a happy family home together and build a life together, Cancer. Um, I feel really hopeful for the future between the two of you because the p potential is really li um, limitless. We see children in the cards. We see a very affectionate couple. They're glorifying the rainbow. They're very, very happy. The sun is around them. There's harmony. There's hope. There's reconciliation. Now, I want to just go back to that for a second. I think some of you cancers are reconciling with, with an ex or someone that you feel like you didn't get a proper chance to date or get to know or experience this person is coming back around fate will send them back around and some of you are destined to remain with them so for some it's some of you have broken up with someone here but you're actually going to come back together okay in a very very powerful way it can also be a lifelong connection here the cups are all about emotion this is cancer pisces scorpio beautiful water energy and, you know, you do have a lot of number one number ones here. So new beginnings, fresh, uh, a fresh, clean slate, a fresh start, a restart, um, starting again. So maybe if you are already already have this person in your life, you're reigniting the flame. It's almost like you're getting a fresh start in your relationship. There's some sort of newness that's coming in around you. But there is a possibility of pregnancy or getting this person pregnant because children are in the cards for a lot of you, okay? Or there's, they might have children. And maybe that's the maternal, paternal energy I saw before. Maybe that's coming through here. 
You could also be meeting through family, okay? Meeting through the community, meeting through siblings, meeting through family, friends, um, and becoming more open. You'd be surprised if you'd be more open to this cancer where this person could be. And I do think they're hovering around you. Like I said, there's the notion of this person possibly orbiting around you at this point in time. And it could be through like a family um, invitation to a wedding, to a barbecue, um, to a birthday party, to a going away party. You know, there could be some sort of event that is the catalyst for the two of you meeting, for the two of you connecting. So that's um, really, really positive. But also creating um, a family life together. Some of you will move in together. As I said, I, I, I don't think it's too quickly. I think it's going to come at the right time. It will just feel right. But some of you will be creating or building a family home fairly soon after the two of you meet. A, because it's something you both want, and B, the pacing is just, I don't know if you could deem it too fast or too slow, but the pacing is just going to be just right, and you'll know, you'll actually both um, feel ready. You'll both feel very, very ready for this, um, for, for what it is. But there's going to be a lot of, ha like, think about the rainbow here. Um, because this is a Christian deck, the rainbow is a sign of the covenant, okay? After the flood, after the Lord sent the flood, the rainbow was a covenant that he would never do this again to his people, that he would promise them he would never do this again. So it's promise, it's engagement, it's a covenant, it's symbolism here. So... I mean, I, I like what this represents. I think this person holds true to their word. And in the relationship, covenants and promises will be very, very important um, to you and to this person as well. Um, but it's also weathering the storm. I think the two of you will be able to work through your obstacles fairly, fairly well um, and come back around in each other's arms again and really appreciate the good, really appreciate the obstacles that you will encounter and how you work through them hand in hand, arm in arm, literally. Let's move on to the sun card here. This is a sign of Aries here. A lot of firsts in this relationship, a lot of energy, a lot of momentum, definitely a lot of physical attraction and intimacy between the both of you with the sun card here. Um, the sun card is uh, the self, okay, the number one, the self-identity here. Um, I really feel like you're going to change as a person, Cancer, because of this relationship. And you might not see it now, you might not see it, as soon as it's over, if it's over, I do feel like there's a lot of potential for this to be um, for you to build a family um, or create a family with this person here. But for a lot of you, it's going to teach you a lot about yourself. You'll almost feel childlike again when you're with this person. Maybe they're teaching you a lot. Maybe they're guiding you. I um, mean, it's not to say it's, they have an unhealthy dominance over you. I wouldn't say that, Cancer. I think it's more to do with the fact that this person is going to guide you in a very nurturing in a very encouraging way and with the sun card here you're going to be very open to the experiences with this person you're going to open up like a child this is innocence this is purity a it points to pure intentions and a pure connection between the both of you cancer um, but it also points to there's something that you've had in your mind that you thought you would never do or never have or never achieve or never find anyone to achieve or have or be or experience those things with. But I'm here to tell you that I think this is the person that's going to swoop in there and change that. And suddenly things that you were closed off to having or doing or being or experiencing, suddenly the floodgates open up and this person makes you feel like you want to experience these things and you want to do it with them. And this is not by no means forced. It's going to be absolutely on your own accord. I will leave it at that though, Cancer. Very, very beautiful reading. Thank you so much for tuning in.